Hello and welcome to Nonstop Adventures. My name is Carisha. And I'm Leroy. And today we are here with a resort review. Today we are reviewing Breathless Punta Cana Resort and Spa. Super excited about this one. Um, we have a lot of information to give you all about this resort. Everything you need to know from A to Z. The property, the food, the rooms, entertainment, the pools, customer service. If you need to know it, it will be in this video. We are very thorough when it comes to our resort reviews and we spent time on our vacation to make sure that we were able to get this video for you. So stick with us and you'll know everything you need to know. All right, you ready? Yep. So first things first, how do you even get to this resort? So after you land at Punta Cana International Airport, the resort it is quite far from the airport. It's approximately 40 minutes on a good day because the traffic at Punta Cana is, it, it, it can get bad. But 40 minutes on a good day, so it is quite far. So Not too bad. Yeah, you can just relax on the way over to your resort after a long travel day. By the time you wake up, you're going to be there. Now, Breathless Punta Cana is considered a large resort. It has 750 guest suites. Now, although it is big, I think it is extremely easy to navigate. So that's nothing that you have to worry about. Once we get to that portion of the video, we'll give you more about navigating the resort. But you can rest assured that the entire resort is walkable. Unless you go over to Dreams, which is next door, which we'll get to in a minute. Now, some resorts, some larger resorts, like we just left Conrad Maldives, and I think they had maybe 130 something rooms. I'm not 100% sure. So although they had less rooms, the resort uh, was a lot bigger. And just to get somewhere, you would have to call a golf court. This is not the case at Breathless Punta Cana. You can walk the entire resort, and trust me, if I can walk it, you'll be comfortable walking it as well. All right, so when you first walk into the resort, the first thing that you'll come to is the lobby. So the lobby has a lot of resources for you. You have your concierge, you have your check-in area, you have casino, your business center, you have the place where you can book excursions, you have a the concierge where you can also book like if you wanna do a dinner reservation or book a beach dinner. And they also have a board where you can look and see all of the different activities that are going on throughout the day. That's the top level. What I like about Breathless is you can take the elevator and you go right down and you're in the main level. Now the logistics of navigating, once you take that elevator down, you are in Wink Bar. And if you, it's so easy. If you, to the left, you'll have lots of different shops. And then if you continue on, you'll hit the rooms. To the right, you have different restaurants. And if you continue on, you'll hit more rooms. Down the center is the direction you go towards your pools the most beautiful pools. We'll get to that part in a moment, but you'll, as you walk down that center, you'll have your rooms on your left and right. If you continue walking, the pools are straight ahead. I mean, like in a literal eye shape. And then if you keep walking, you'll get to the beach. It is really that easy, unless you go over to Dreams, which I highly suggest taking a golf cart, which you can reach out to Concierge, and they'll get you a golf cart to go over to Dreams. Now, why would you wanna to go to Dreams? For us, there was a restaurant at Dreams that we wanted to eat at, so we went to that restaurant one day, and also the spa is at Dreams. So I had a spa appointment, which we will get into, and I got a pro tip for you on how I was able to reserve, get a huge discount on the spa, but we did go over to Dreams to go to the spa. So we went twice, restaurant, and then to go to the spa. So, let's talk about the room. The room we had was the Junior Suite allure tropical view with the jacuzzi on the balcony the room itself is about 544 square feet so it's a pretty it's a pretty decent decently sized room in the bathroom you had was it two sinks in there yeah i think we, yeah we had two sinks we had two sinks water room. a separate water room and the balcony had the jacuzzi on it but it's your traditional room yeah and for it to be a four and a half star resort. Four and a half star resort. It, the room itself needed to be updated. The decor yeah. just, it, it, it wasn't, wasn't it. giving. <laughs> it wasn't it. It wasn't it. <laughs> Not for four and a half star resort and higher. Exactly. Four and a half on most sites and five on some. And the room just was not what I would expect for four and a half or five star resort. Agreed. We, we, we liked the room, but we weren't there much. That's the plus. We weren't in the room much, but still. For hey. four and a half, it, it was doo-doo. <laughs> but yeah, I think to me, this was the room that you would get for maybe a three and a half star resort. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We'll show you some clips of the room so you can see it. Y'all let me know if you agree, but it just wasn't giving. 
not for the money we paid. Okay, so let's talk about the price. We paid $1,434 for our room and this was for four nights. So we were supposed to actually stay at a different hotel, but the hotel didn't open, so we were transferred over to Breathless. So that was the price. The pr I don't think the price was too bad for all-inclusive, but considering the room and a couple other things that we'll get to in a minute, it should have really been around $1,100. But the age at the resort was about, I would say, 30s, 40s. Yeah, because we have the choice between Breathless and Rio Republica. And that vibe was a little, well, obviously younger. You know, they were like maybe in their 20s because we connected with some of our friends that went over to Rio Republica. They came to our resort. We went to their resort. But, you know, I was, I was fine with the age group. The, my vibe comes from within, if you can't tell. So I don't really care what age the people are. I'm a turn up whether they 30, 40, 50, 60. I don't care how old you are. But I did want to let you all know because I know that's, you know, a question for some people. So it was about 30, 40. But overall, I did like the vibe of the people. Let's move on to the entertainment and activities. So all throughout your stay, they will have themed parties. So they have like a masquerade party, a white party, and obviously it changes throughout the year. You know, depending on when you go, it it can vary so you definitely want to you can reach out to the resort to look when you're at the resort you know they'll have it on their board and you'll clearly know what event is on which day if you're not into that sort of thing you can also be entertained with the casino that's there which is at on the same floor as the lobby you have your water sports paddle boarding snorkeling gear yeah because it's right on volleyball. the beach yeah you have beach volleyball they have pool volleyball as well so you'll never get bored at this resort. There's things to do. And also like in the evening, they have different, like they had a band that played while we were there. They had entertainment, you know, and everybody was out while that was happening. They also had like a, a big screen where yeah. they showed different, different, I think it was like a concert, you know, it was, I went to entertain by the, the concert that they showed, but that was some of the entertainment. And they also have a club. So once all that entertainment dies down, they have a club that people go to for the rest of the night. So there's plenty of entertainment and games throughout the day. You know, by the pool, there's always going to be something going on. So you will definitely be entertained. Absolutely. And then you'll, you'll, there, there's something happening all day. But when it gets dark, that's when the resort really comes alive. I think it was alive during the day, too, because that pool, we're going to get to the oh, pools man. in a minute. <laughs> we're going to get to the pools in a minute. So for fitness, for my gym heads, they do have a gym. I didn't use the gym, but they had like a treadmill. They had the dumbbells. They got all the stuff you need to, to work out. Um, for those who want to do yoga, they do have like yoga during the morning and they have a professional, you know, that'll lead the session. And then for excursions, they do have a counter in the main lobby where you can book your excursions right there. We were able to book one excursion. It was like a city tour, which I highly recommend. You all have to check that video out. I think we did a video about it, which I'll link and it was everything. So you go around the city. I think we did like some some tea and cigar making. We yep. went to like a cathedral. And then we went to a local house. Y'all, this lady was everything. So she cooked for us. Um, the food was so good. The food was so good. Fire. The best food in DR. If you looking to eat, you need to book that excursion to go to a local house because that's where the food was at. Um, On top you, of that, you can buy some Mama Wana while you're there too. <laughs> buy you some Mama Wana to take back home with you, baby, because we brought some home <laughs> and it was gone like in a day. But um, yeah, we highly recommend that tour if you're looking for you know a tour to book. But I love that it's just convenient, right there at the counter, and you know. Okay, y'all, I have to pull out my notes for this next section because I want to make sure I get this 100% right for you. We gotta talk about the food, so. They have like 10 restaurants and bars if you combine them all. So we didn't get to go to every restaurant, but the ones we did get to go to was obviously the International Buffet. We went to Spumante, which is Italian. We also went to Silk, Silk City, which is Asian. And of course, the Strip Grill. So our favorite, what was your favorite? I think my favorite was probably Strip Grill. No, I say, I'll take that back. I, take, I think it was the, the hibachi joint. He liked the hibachi. So Italian, did we like the Italian, the spumante? We, I think that, so spumante, the Italian, we really didn't care for it. That's the joint we went to on the first day. We're thinking about doing a whole video to just cover the restaurants because I got our reaction for all the food. And to be honest with you, I was not knocked off my feet with the food for a four and a half star restaurant. 
I just don't feel like the food delivered. Now I will say this, Silk City, which is the Asian where you have the hibachi, 10 out of 10 will recommend. You do have to have a reservation for this restaurant. So I definitely highly recommend this one. We'll put some different clips in of the food so you can just see our experience. But I recommend uh, the hibachi. The ones we did get to, oh, oh, oh. We also went to Picante. That was on Dreams Resort. I just had to go to this restaurant because I love Mexican food. Hated it. it was, I do not recommend it. it was, I don't even, the food was not, Taco Bell got better food. And y'all know that's saying a lot. Taco Bell got better food. And the service was terrible there the, too. We like, waited we for were, our food for like, was it like an hour and a half? At least. I'm like, what in the world is going on? But you know, I'm just sitting there being patient because I'm on vacation. Ain't nobody got time for no attitude on vacation, but an hour and a half, it's like they just forgot about us. Like we literally sat there for 40 minutes <laughs> before our drinks came. Yeah, they were, I could tell that they were stressed and yeah. scrambling to figure things out. Cause they were just all over the place. They was like, did you order this? I'm like, no, I didn't order. They was just putting food on tables. I'm like, oh, we should have stayed over at Breathless. I swear, they didn't know who ordered what. And it, 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 it just it got, all, it got out of control. Yo. Now this could have just been a bad night. If you go, your experience could be different, but woo, I won't be doing that again. Now the restaurant we did not get to go to was Cabe because we actually wanted to go, but when we went, it was actually set up to be the grill that night. And we also did not get to go to Sofrito, which was Latin. And they also have like a coffee shop for like quick breakfast. So that was okay. But man, how could you, can you get coffee wrong? So we were expecting that <laughs> to be okay. So overall for the food, we weren't too happy, but we were, we love the Asian. So if you can do the hibachi, make sure you get a reservation. I say six out of 10 for the entire experience being generous there but you know six out of ten <laughs> yeah saving grace was an A's and joint yeah so on the resort there's quite a few bars on there so if you're a drinker you're gonna be a heaven <laughs> so the first the, the first bar is wink bar which is the very first bar you'll see when you get to the resort so you take the you'll take the elevator down from the lobby and to your right, you're going to see it's right in the yeah, middle. Yeah, it's the one that's in the center. You can't miss it. At Wink, they have a lot of different drinks of the day that you can try. Truthfully, I remember the one I had, but I do remember it tasting good. I'll throw it was a clip really in there. Good. So try, I suggest trying the drinks of the day because I remember all of mine being good. So mm -hmm. I give them a plus there. It was good. It was good. And then... <laughs> Uh, in the main pool, you have a swim up bar as well. Yeah. So during bars the, everywhere. Bars everywhere in the main pool area. Now the sports bar was closed when we went. Yeah, it was closed due to renovation. So one thing we forgot to mention is the uh, the beach dining experience. We asked about this. We just wanted to see if it you know how it looked, and we just decided it wasn't for us. And it starts at 140 bucks. It starts just goes, at 140. And it goes up from there. Two, that just a, 250, mm, 275. It just wasn't for us, y'all. So if you're into that sort of thing, if you want a romantic beast experience, by all means, go for it. But for us, we just, it just wasn't for us. Yeah, and also keep in mind that, you know, you definitely want to make your reservation. Um, and they do have on the board, they tell you, you know, the prices so that you can be prepared because they're knocking you over the head. They call it the Bali Beach Dinner. Baby, I've been to Bali. I'm good. <laughs> no, it just wasn't something we wanted to do at that time because we knew we were, we had some other things going on that we wanted to do instead, which was the spa. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to the good stuff, the pools. There are a lot of pools. Now they advertise that they have six swimming pools. So obviously you got your main pool, you got your turn up pool, you got your quiet pool. Um, I want to say Exhale has a pool. It's a lot of pools, and I'm going to be honest with you. They have some of the nicest pools that I have seen at a resort. The pools are delivering. I will say that. The turn-up is real at the turn-up pool. The turn-up is real. So if you try to have a party, it is a vibe. And you better get there early to get you a seat because they come out. You guys know how it is if you've been at resorts. They put their towels down to mark their spot in the morning. And we couldn't even find a seat when we went. So we ended up going to the choir pool, which worked for me because I had to work. I had a deadline to meet on a project. So we went down to the choir pool, but we hung out at the turn up pool, baby, and they get it popping. Facts. Uh -oh. And then there are hot tubs around as well, but they aren't particularly hot. It's like putting your foot in room temperature water. That's how hot it was. He loves hot tubs, <laughs> so he always checks. But like I said, the pools, they, they are long they go pretty much as soon as you leave wink bar you know you walk down 
a ways and then you get to the pools I mean they go the rest of the entire resort and they are absolutely beautiful I have some clips that I'll insert but once you get to the end of the pools you have like the water sports and then you're literally at the beach so the pools are delivering and they have they just have a lot going on like one of them has like a walkover bridge mm -hmm. and then they have like an infinity pool at one part and this the main pool is huge too so yeah. you're not gonna not have room to get oh, in. oh you're gonna have room you're gonna have room you definitely gonna have room um i felt like they had enough seats but the seats just fill up really quick if it's a you know the a, if it's busy you know they fill up really quick especially if it's a bar right right there next to the pool yeah like there's a lot of areas to sit at so you won't really have difficult yeah if you get there you won't really have difficulty finding a seat but may not be the seat you want facts on top of that i recommend you get there like pretty much right after breakfast that way yeah. you can you may, need to mark, you may need to mark your spot before breakfast it's like that was a lot let me stop but y'all know how it is but yeah the pools definitely they did not disappoint i will give them that mm -hmm. we got to talk about the spa because your girl loves a good spa on every vacation the spa did not disappoint i had a really nice service Pro tip, what we did was we went to Vacation Club by Hyatt, which is their timeshare presentation. And we got a $200 voucher for sitting in on this presentation and I use that for the spa. You can, you have different things you can pick. I picked the spa. They also have one where you can get a discount on your beach dinner, so it's up to you. Let me tell y'all about this presentation. So it was like two and a half hours. And of course they were nice at first, you know, because they want you to buy into you know, this timeshare, so to speak. That's pretty much what it is. But once you say no, they start to get kind of rude. They get I mean, really it's, aggressive. It's, it's off-putting almost. It's like- Yeah, it just wasn't for me. Don't get mad. Improve your sales pitch. Mm -hmm. But it just really wasn't for me. I really listened because I, I really wanted to hear what they had to say because we travel a lot. I'm willing to listen. And if it sounds like it's worth it, you may have a sale. But for me, the higher, it just really wasn't worth it. And we really, considered it at first yeah. like we had a long talk about it but at the end of the day it just didn't fit our travel style yeah. and then the guy saw leroy the next day walking on the resort and he was all gave me the cold shoulder like, I'm like what did i do to you dude like relax don't be mad at me you know but we got our 200 dollars voucher for the spa so that's a pro tip if you got two and a half hours we had it so we didn't really mind it was early got it out the way and then went to the pool and then that $200 paid for at least my service at the spa. Mm -hmm. We had a couple's massage and it was heavenly. Wonderful, it was wonderful. Uh, but yes, I do highly recommend the spa. It's really nice. It's over at Dreams. They'll have a golf cart take you over and it's a good time. I highly recommend it. The staff at the resort were some of the best I've ever encountered anywhere. They were just so friendly, so kind. We didn't have any issues. Outside of the uh, vacation club guy. Yeah, outside <laughs> of that guy, but the everybody on the resort was just they knew what they were doing they knew what they were talking about anything we needed anything we asked for they accommodated us normally when we travel we have a little hiccups here and there it's normally a little hiccup or something but we really didn't have that at breath breathless we didn't have any issues didn't have really a complaint about anything so yeah we we, we had no complaints that's what a vacation is all about to be stress-free and they yeah. made sure it was stress-free so our final thoughts overall we had a really good vacation i didn't want to leave i didn't have any complaints i thought that the vibe was good it was exactly what i needed i want a vacation where i could relax party a little bit if i wanted to i wanted a, to have a nice evening with some entertainment live music so i can relax with my husband i got that we felt like the rooms can be updated especially for a four and a half star resort it's time to update the rooms <laughs> Uh, we feel like the food can be a little bit better that is so easy to do if they get the right people in there work on some of those recipes that can really make her break the trip that can turn things around for them if they were to improve their food i get renovations can be a little bit you know it's a lot you have to do to do that but the food they can easily make this four and a half star resort worth it oh 100 if you had to give a rating one to ten what would it be Oh, one to ten. <laughs> now, why he put me on the spot like that? One to ten, I give it about a. Uh, I gotta give him about a six and a half. We'll I'll, I'll say seven. I'll give him the. Give a seven. Yeah, I'll give it a seven out of ten, just because you know the food. It's. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't there. <laughs> it wasn't there. 
Um, would I return? Yes. I would too. Yeah, I would return. Uh, do I recommend it? I recommend it. If you're going to DR, I think it's a good option for a resort. I've also been to Chic Punta Cana and DR. I like that one a lot better. So if you've been to Chic, um, I recommend that one. I did not like the food at Chic either, but I did like their seafood. They have like a lobster you could order. I think it was like 35 per person or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I would rate that one higher than this. But I had a really good time though. It's me too. And you know, for a adult only all inclusive you really can't go wrong so this is yes you can <laughs> you, you, i mean what she said but <laughs> it's definitely it's, it's definitely a we vibe. worked it out we worked, we, we it, worked out. it out and we didn't want to leave so um thank you for watching our video if you have any questions please comment below we promise you we will get them answered we are also putting a link in the description to the room and we will see you on our next non-stop non adventure, adventure. bye